Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of the Newsreader Podcast. I'm going to lose count at some point, but that's not going to be today because we are on episode 5. As always, I'm your host, my name is Ramin. You obviously know me if you're watching this. I run this YouTube channel and I can live stream again. And I actually streamed yesterday and I have an iPhone SE and I hate it very much. And this is Joseph from Joseph D Tech. And I am currently in the process of editing a new video. That will be out soon, so go check that out. And today we are joined by a special guest. I'm Dash from Dash MKI. I'm on TikTok and YouTube. I make PC content primarily, and also sometimes post about Apple stuff <coughs> on my Twitter page. So go follow, follow my TikTok, follow my Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube, or Dash MKI. Literally every single platform. Mhm. So, uh, Dash is the only person here who actually watched Google I/O. So. You know, Dash, that's, you need to tell, we don't know anything about Google I.O., so he, he's gonna, he's gonna tell you guys about Google I.O., and my encoding is overloaded on OBS right now, so I'm sorry if my recording is lagging, my encoding is just exactly, wow, but yes, Dash, um, you can talk about the thing now. So Google I.O. is always nothing, nothing too special, you know, it's more boring, Rather than it's more for the power users that actually care about Pixel itself. Uh, there's also new Gemini features. There's a new phone, um, just like the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. We have the Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL. That's been rumored for months now. There's also lots of new Gemini features, such as taking a picture. So you know, how if you're at a beach or something, you want to take a picture at the seaside. You have to hand awkwardly hand the person your phone to take a picture, and that's just kind of embarrassing in my opinion. So now you can basically take a picture of one member of your family and kind of insert yourself in that photo with AI. And it looks really good if you've watched the actual Google I.O. itself. It looks very realistic. And with the Pixel Watch 3, we have the post tracking. So if you lose post, it will automatic, automatically call emergency services for you. Uh-huh. That's basically everything new with Google I.O. itself. Right. So... Now, I will start off with my first topic, which is Apple has discontinued yet another classic product, the DVD Super Drive. I actually had one, but I made the foolish mistake of getting rid of it. Uh, So, I don't have one anymore. Uh, However, Apple discontinued it. It's been around since 2008, and the only change to it is that in 2012, it was renamed to the MacBook Air Super Drive. also in 2012, this became a very instant essential product to many people because Apple removed the DVD drive for the MacBook Pro and iMac. So because of that, this became a lot more popular in people who had bought the 2012 iMac. I actually owned one of those. I'm sure you guys might remember the review I did. And Retina MacBook Pros, like the one that I am using right now to film the video. O- OMG, guys. Look, 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 guys. Trackpad reveal. Look at this cool trackpad. <laughs> exactly, Joseph. Trackpad reveal. Oh my god. Wait, you can't see it. No, we can't see the trick, man. <laughs> you can see your camera, though. Let's go. So, uh, I almost just called you Google. Joseph, not, not Google, <laughs> Joseph. Uh, you can talk about our next story about your favorite GPU company for some reason. I, I, I prefer AMD, but before you continue, my AMD GPU is dying. Woohoo! We love you, AMD. We love you. I spent thirty pounds on this GPU. I mean, thirty pounds for a, a good GPU for two months. I guess it's not too bad. All right. So, Nvidia has apparently been harvesting videos from sources like YouTube, Netflix, and other streaming services to use in. AI data sets. Woohoo, more AI stuff from NVIDIA. We hate AI. Not like we ever... We hate uh, AI here on the show. Kind of. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so that's apparently an issue. I don't know why, but for copyright issues, that's... That's a problem for... That, so, yeah. Just know that your video is probably going to AMD for data set training. NVIDIA, bro, not AMD. Or NVIDIA, yeah. yeah. So, before Dash gets into our next topic about Google, Apple has just released some new updates uh, for the Magic Mouse and Magic Trackpad, because mouse and trackpad need update. So, 
The Magic oh. Mouse has a new update, version 10M6916, and the Magic Trackpad is 10M6917. So, Darsh, you can now talk about Google being a monopolist, because, you know... Alright, so a US federal judge recently ruled that Google violated antitrust laws by mon- monopolizing the internet and search advertising markets. The ruling, made by the judge Amit Mehta, concluded that Google maintained its dominance unlawfully through exclusive agreements with major companies like Apple and Samsung. These deals ensured Google's search engine remained the default on billions of devices, effectively stifling competition, so things like DuckDuckGo can't compete with Google, but it's literally the default search engine on every single platform. The Department of Justice agreed that Google's actions, such as inflating ad prices, allowed it to earn monopoly profits, further increasing its position while Google contended that its market dominance was due to the quality of its search engine. The court found out its tactics were anti- anti-competitive. This is a ruling significant this ruling significant win for the United States post, government post, 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 and post. could lead to post. sorry sorry there's some new news uh there are now three new wallpapers in the Mac OS 15.1 beta 2 uh Sequoia Sunrise Sequoia Morning and Sequoia Night now Darsh you can continue This could lead to government uh, substantial penalties or even structural changes to Google business practices although the specific consequences have yet to be determined, Google planned to appeal the decision. I totally did not use ChatGPT to read all that. <laughs> okay, so my next story is HyperOS by uh, Xiaomi, because that's definitely how you pronounce it. It's definitely pronounced Xiaomi, Xiaomi instead of Xiaomi. Uh, so, Xiaomi's HyperOS designer uh, is gone. He disappeared off the face of the freaking planet. Now there's reports of the Z Fold or Z Flip 6 camera rings are coming off. That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, you spend 1.8 grand on a phone, you walk out, you go home, you drop it once accidentally, because accidents happen, and the camera ring comes off. What a surprise, and you can't even repair it, because you have to get the whole black back glass replaced. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing, actually. Amazing. I'm going to awesome. go out and buy a brand Absolutely. new Samsung Fold right now. So I can experience that. And it will fall apart. Uh, The next story is for Joseph. And it's about a fruit company. Uh, Yeah, so since you already talked about the wallpapers, Apple Pay has come to the Dominican Republic for Visa card holders only. Yeah was released on the 6th of this month, which is August, and yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Nice. Next story is iOS getting, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I put it down, so I guess we skip that. iOS getting. Uh, I don't know. (laughs) Um, Darsh, you can talk about the RTX 3060 and the RX 6600. AMD FTW. So, unfortunately, the RTX 3060, Steam's most popular graphics card, according to the Steam surveys, and the RX 6600, the best GPU for its value, are getting discontinued. So, first, NVIDIA made the move to discontinue the RTX 3060, despite it being the most popular graphics card for Steam games itself. They're being dis- it's just being discontinued as, I'm guessing, R- N- NVIDIA wants all their people to be on the current generation of the same with AMD. cards, which is just upsetting, you know, like they don't want the budget people. And with our, uh, the RX 6600 being discontinued, it's the best GPU for its value, in my opinion. Uh, it's also being discontinued. It's sad because, you know, AMD likes to be toxic and wants to have a worse GPU by switching to the next generation by paying a higher price. It just shows toxicity. Wait, so... What do you mean by discontinue? Because they're literally still updating the 970. So, no, no, no. 970 is like, just GTX. That's different. They just, they still update it, but they don't sell stock of it. Like, there's, you can't uh, sell stock of it. Speaking so of stock... Discontinued means... Of GPUs. Um, this is really funny. So... This is really freaking funny. 
I saw a GT um, 7 something, I think 730 on Amazon, on an ad. Because you know Instagram has those little ads when you're on your reels, and sometimes they have ads for like yeah. Amazon and stuff. So I saw one of these ads, and I kid you not, the ad said that it's a GTX 7, uh, th- a GT 730, not GTX. Uh, and this is good, this is good. It connects via PCIe 4X. Was it one X? Four X. <laughs> so, Dash, you can continue <laughs> now. Sure, sure. Um, which one was it again? Uh, YouTube community GPUs. notes. Oh, the GPUs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just discontinued. That's the sad thing about them. You can't read really yes. about it. Yes. And speaking of YouTube community notes, Joseph, you have the feature because you're very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh. YouTube has released a new feature for specific users. It'll be sent to your email if you're a part of it, but just like Twitter has, the community notes that they added, YouTube has added a similar feature and is actually more accessible. It is in the hotbar of where you can like and save video. It is the one of the top things right there if you have the feature and you can Add whatever notes and only verify just like Twitter community notes. So that's pretty cool for fact checking and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Next story, Darsh. So, Pixel 9 Pro X. Well, we, we already Pixel. talked about that. We already talked about that. Uh, <coughs> the story after it. What about Chromecast? Oh, right. You forgot Chromecast. Apple oh, driver's license. Now, up so. Apple now has brand uh, the driver's license, the virtual driver's license to Apple Pay in California now. So now more states are even supported, which is nice to see. Uh, I don't I'm have to carry a physical... Mm-hmm. People in California don't have to carry a physical card anymore, which is just amazing. That's, that's dumb. That is actually dumb. I agree with my opinion. Um, anyways, uh, Joseph, quickly talk about Chromecast. I, I'm, I'm, I'm itching. To talk about the M4 Mac Mini <laughs> right now. Okay, so the Google Chromecast, which is now 11 years old, is being discontinued and replaced with uh, what? What the heck was it called? <laughs> what the heck? Google was it Stream called? TV or something? Oh yeah, Google TV Streamer, and it is meant to compete with the Apple TV and Roku Ultra. Mhm. Now, as I said, I am itching. Look at my camera, guys. I am itching to talk about the M4 Mac Mini. Apple is releasing the M4 Mac Mini this year! And it's going to be a lot smaller than the M2 Mac Mini. And it's going to be really cool. It's going to have a full redesign and everything. Uh, what's cool is this means I can get an M1 because the M1 is going to go really far down in price. Um because of this. Yep. Joseph. And one is already super low. Uh, not for the spec I want. Joseph, Instagram gold. And then, Darsh, you can talk about the GPUs, and then we end off the episode. Instagram gold? Instagram, you I've know, on Instagram, Instagram notes, gold. bro. You know, when you type the word gold. Oh. That's just sick. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so, um, we, as the U.S. team, have won the Olympics, and because of that, when you type the word gold in your Instagram notes, the note turns gold. Brother, so, it, it, yay, works, team it works for everyone. It works for me in England. It works for my friend in the Middle East. It's, it's not just for America. Yes, yes, but but we won. Cool, cool. Enjoy winning. <laughs> 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 All right, Darish, would you like to end off the episode with talking about the GPS? So. Yeah, I get to end the episode. So, AMD, Radeon, RX 7300 and the RX 7400 are rumoured to target budget gamers with RDNA 3 architecture offering improved performance and efficiency, expected to have 8GB of GDDR6 memory and lower power consumption. In my opinion, 8GB is not enough, you definitely need more. And they can also compete with NVIDIA's entry-level GPUs, potentially later... Um, which is going to be launching in later 2024. And that's all, all right. for me. Now we finish off the episode. All right. With that, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Before and that, before that. Oh, yeah. So.
So, uh, y'all guys have not seen yet. I got a new camera. Last episode, remember we said Joseph's new camera will be here by this episode. Joseph's new camera is here for this episode. Let's go. Yeah. And that is a uh, that is a hint to my next video. So a hint. Let's go. Keep out for that. Now, is there anything else? No, that's it. This came out of my chair. With that, thank you guys very much for watching. Do not forget to leave a like, comment, down below, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much for 300 subscribers. Also, today is the um, 11th year anniversary of Geometry Dash. So, that's pretty cool. If you guys didn't know, that's my favorite game. Uh, with that, yes, as always, I am your host. My name is Ramin. I run this YouTube channel. And... Oh, this is uh, Joseph from Joseph D Tech. So, subscribe to me. And me. And that is all for me. And I'm Dash MKI from YouTube, TikTok, literally Dash MKI on any single platform. And that's that. Please subscribe, please follow. We'll see you and next time. That's all from me. Bye bye.